Hi everyone, my name is Clara and welcome to Recipes with Clara, a channel where we give you workable, doable recipes for your hospitality at home. And so today we have another one of those delights. Uh, I know many people struggle with pumpkin, quite a good number don't even like it, but I can tell you this cake, we are making a pumpkin cake, you're going to really love it. And, and uh, so stay with me as we continue on and of course as is always our custom on this channel, we want to pray because we believe God will give you the creativity you need in the kitchen to make this and others. Thank you Lord that you're right here with us and indeed you're helping me, helping the viewers to understand these procedures, to do this recipe aright for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's get to our, rest, uh, our ingredients. We will have two cups of all-purpose flour. We have half a cup of sugar. We have three teaspoons of baking powder. I have a little lemon zest, just work around your lemon with the finer side of your grater and you will get this lemon zest, a teaspoon. I have two cups of grated raw pumpkin and then I have a teaspoon of vanilla essence, even the darker one will do. I have half a cup of salad oil, I have one egg beaten. I have an egg, uh, milk, a cup of milk. Uh, this is equivalent to a measuring cup with some cream. That's how I also use my cream. And I have a little fat or match here to grease my pan and a little flour to dust it. I just have some extra water here on hand, but I'll tell you if we need it. So we go right to our uh, uh, ingredients and the procedure I will mix all the dry ingredients you notice this is uh, uh, we are making it as simple as possible so that you can know it's doable at home and we will bake it without an oven my daughter here is continuing with her little cake and so we will mix our wet ingredients we will start with our pumpkin right there and uh, put in our lemon zest as well. Put in our vanilla, our oil, our egg and our milk. Yes, and then we just mix them up. Yeah, like that. So what I'll do, I'll start putting in the dry ingredients that I mixed. You could also mix them with a sieve with big holes. So I'll put in half of it and mix and eventually put in the whole of it. Now we are done with our dough. As you can see, we didn't even need to put in anything else. We didn't put in the water. This was sufficient. So that's how it looks. You can see the pumpkins, finely grated, raw pumpkins poking out. And so we will grease our pan. I'm using your normal pan of sufuria so that uh, you can know you can bake without an oven, without baking sheets. And so we will grease it, we will grease it. Yeah, we greased and dusted our pan. Like I always say, just make sure your pan is fairly heavy 
to bake on top of your gas and also the dough is slightly below half so that it doesn't overflow the pan so we will uh, put the butter into the pan uh, so I'm wondering what the little girl is making she's doing a plain cake hopefully we will also see it at the end of this video remember you can bake this cake on this kind of a cooker on your table cooker on your mako even on your jiko as long as you understand the principle of the fire so we will put it on uh, put it on and leave it on the high flame for a few seconds just to heat it up now that we we are not preheating it as we usually do in the oven so and then don't switch off like that because that's too if you can see the flame that's still too high the normal way your gas will go low but take it as though you're switching it off and get to the lowest that you can get sometimes this can really uh, you can miss it a few times but uh, just try to get to the lowest a minute so get it to that flame uh, we didn't get it the first time now we got it the second time you can see the lowest the lowest you can get and bake your cake for about 45 minutes to an hour uh, because it will vary depending on the flame depending on your pan so just about that time your cake will be ready and then i'll tell you what we will do our cake is ready our delicious pumpkin cake that's how we get to know it's ready you can use a knife to poke in and uh, it will be ready may come out damp sometimes in the middle but basically it's clear so we will turn it over because you can see it's cream on top we want it to brown like the rest of the cake so i will turn it over onto this Wow, onto this clean lid that had covered it. Then I'll get another one that way and uh, just turn it over like that so that the upper part is up again. Then we will get our pan and get it inside, turn it over as you can see and then return it then we will give it 10 minutes to brown on the underside there goes our pumpkin cake you can see it came out really nicely and what i like about pumpkin cake is that it can really be soft and uh, very tasty and of course we have a smaller piece here yeah, that one so that you just see how it looks inside so that's the pumpkin cake that we made today i hope you will try it this is the one my daughter was working on her little cake but of course remember when children are baking they need supervision particularly her age don't let them do it of course i know you know that yeah but uh, she is getting to learn to bake quite early yeah thank you so much for joining us we were uh, we hope you will try this recipe and uh, we trust you will enjoy it as we enjoy it as well and so if you like this video you can uh, subscribe consider subscribing share uh, like and uh, i'm sure you'll be notified when we have more videos like this one and until next time it is bye, bye. bye.